Did you know that 16% of global food production relies on irrigation through groundwater, which is often used at unsustainable rates? Well, irrigation is an idea still growing in Saskatchewan. It's not new to many parts of the world. In the American Midwest, two interconnected aquifers, Ogallala and High Plains, have created one of the largest agricultural economies in the world. However, some regions dependent on these groundwater aquifers are using them at unsustainable rates. Much of the southern part of these aquifer systems could be depleted as soon as 2050. California's Central Valley, another major agricultural region, produces more than half of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts grown in the U.S. Parts of Central Valley are also emptying their groundwater aquifers more quickly than they can be restored naturally, and could be out of water by the 2030s. But what does this have to do with Saskatchewan? While Saskatchewan doesn't have the milder climate of California and the U.S. Midwest, Saskatchewan has a remarkable opportunity to help feed our growing global population. We have a secure, abundant water resource in our province with the potential to improve our economic prosperity and further increase our agricultural production. Lake Diefenbaker To date, Lake Diefenbaker only provides water for 120,000 acres of irrigated farmland through the sustainable use of surface water. The reservoir capacity of Lake Diefenbaker has the potential to responsibly expand irrigation for another 500,000 acres or more. Two regions near Lake Diefenbaker offer examples of where irrigation expansion could occur. The Upper Capel Canal, located along the Capel Valley, and the West Side Canal expansion, located northwest of Lake Diefenbaker, could create more than 400,000 acres of irrigated farmland. These projects would complement existing initiatives to diversify agriculture in Saskatchewan while benefiting nearby communities. These kinds of irrigation projects take the vision that began to take shape decades ago and brings it into the 21st century. These projects can attract investment, create jobs, increase agricultural production for tens of thousands of acres of land, lead to rural revitalization in the region, contribute significantly to prosperity in Saskatchewan and Canada for decades, all while showcasing how major water infrastructure projects can be collaboratively advanced. Any environmental challenges posed by these projects could be an opportunity to bring together all of the impacted sectors to develop solutions with a collaborative process that leads to a robust agricultural drainage plan and minimal impacts to downstream water users. The Upper Capel Canal and West Side Canal expansion are more than just infrastructure projects. They represent a bold new direction and investment in Saskatchewan's future. The Upper Capel Canal and West Side Canal expansion are a sustainable use of Saskatchewan's abundant supply of surface water. Saskatchewan leads the world in cutting-edge agricultural and biotechnology research, making breakthroughs in how we feed the world. With the addition of more irrigable acres, farmers can focus on producing high-value crops in demand, home and abroad. Irrigation agriculture also helps with climate change adaptation, as irrigated farmland is effectively drought-proof. Projects of this magnitude require great effort. They require the will of the people to see the future with a vision of prosperity. They require patience, foresight, sacrifice and a commitment to see something through to the end that is bigger than any one of us. It's time to grab the opportunity in front of us and run with it, because no great thing is ever created suddenly. <laughs>